Hello, this is David with songwritersmarketplace.com. And if you have been watching any of my previous tutorials, then you'll recognize this website, the Musician Website Demo. And we've covered how to build and set up your Musician Website, and also how you can produce a simple podcast for your website. Now, this tutorial, we're going to be talking about a plugin that will offer voicemail for your site visitors any fans that come to your site that would like to contact you. And rather than send you a form, they can send you a voicemail. And what we're talking about is this right here. It's called SpeakPipe. Now with SpeakPipe, I'm going to show you three areas that you can install this onto your website. First, you'll notice the tab over here. Visitors can click on this tab and open up the recorder. They can also Notice that you have the recorder in your sidebar or any of your widget areas that you wish to put this recorder in. And I also have it set up on the contact page. So when they open up your contact page, they can now go ahead and send you the usual contact form if they choose, or they can send you a voice message. So now that you know what we can do with it, Let's get into how you go about getting SpeakPipe and how you set it up on your website. To register for a SpeakPipe account, simply go to SpeakPipe.com. Once you're on the home page of SpeakPipe, you can take the tour if you choose to do that right now to learn more, or you can click on the Get Started. If you click on Get Started, it'll take you right to their plans and pricing. Now, initially, they are just going to display their premium gold and bronze plans. But they do offer a free plan. If you go down to the bottom, we also offer a free plan. It says right here. Now, with the free plan, you get 20 messages per month, which isn't very much. But just to try it out, it's plenty. If it works for you, then it will be well worth the initial bronze plan of $7 per month. So to get the uh, free plan, just go ahead and simply click on free plan. And go ahead and create your account and then continue. Next, you'll come to the confirmation page. And here it'll tell you that you need to go confirm your email address. Once the email address is confirmed, your account will be activated and we'll be able to go ahead and install the SpeakPipe plugin on your site and begin setting it up. Once back at your home page on your own site, you'll want to go ahead and log in. Once logged in, go to your admin on the back end. And then once we're there, we're going to go down to plugins, add new. And then in the Add New field up here on the right side, you want to put in Speak Pipe and Enter. And you should get a quick response, and you'll see Speak Pipe over here on the left. And go ahead and install. Once it's installed and you've activated it, on your column on the left here, go down to Settings and then go off to the column on the right. And as in my case, down on the bottom here, you'll see Speak Pipe. Go ahead and click Speak Pipe. And it will bring you to the setup page. Now, on this page, you'll see this blank field here where it'll say, enter your Speak Pipe account ID to activate the plugin. So to get that, you're going to want to click on Settings. Now, this should bring you to your account. If it doesn't bring you to your account, it will bring you to the login. I'm logged in, so I'm going to log out here. And it should bring you to this sign-in page. So go ahead and use your email and password that you used when you registered, when you signed up for the account. And then go ahead and sign in. Once you're signed in, You'll want to go up to the top here and click on Settings. 
and then click on the Account tab. And at the very top here, you'll see your account ID. What you'll want to do is copy that and then go back to your admin area of your website and paste in your account ID and then save. Now that you've saved your settings, go back here underneath this field and click once again on settings. This time it should take you right to your account. If you're logged in, if you're not, you'll have to log in again. But once you're at your account, you want to click on the first tab, Site Settings. Now here's where you're going to be able to configure all the settings for SpeakPipe as it will display on your website. Now, as you see at the top here, the button text, I have typed in here, Voicemail Johnny. And if we'll look over here on the right, you'll see Voicemail Johnny. That's what will go on the button, whatever you type in here. The position, middle right, now you have uh, a lot of positions you can put it, middle right, middle left, bottom right, bottom left, top right, and top left. So you can select whichever one you prefer. You can change the color of your button, as easy as clicking on this tab here and picking out the color. And you can elect to uh, show the button on your mobile devices. Now this, I've left this unchecked, and I've checked it. And on sometimes on the mobile phone, the button will show up. It depends on what phone you have. I believe maybe it doesn't work too well with the Windows phone. Maybe the Android and uh, the uh, iPhone work okay, but I'm not quite sure. You just have to test whatever phone you have and see how that setting works. And uh, once you have this all set, you would just simply click on Save Button Settings, and that will save your button. Now, if you don't want to show the button on your website, you would go ahead and click Use My Custom Link to open the widget which will give you a link that you can display anywhere on a page and a, a sidebar widget, wherever you want. You can click on that link here, the custom link, that will open up the recorder on your website where they can, uh, where your visitors can use to send you a voicemail. But you would save the settings here with this radio button checked. Use my custom link to open the website. That will take the sidebar button off of your website. I'm going to leave it on right now. Now as we go down the page, next we'll see dialog settings. When you click this, you'll see this box come up. Now in here it'll say, send the voice message to Johnny Rocker. I love to hear from you. Please record your message. Now with the free version you have limited ability of what you can change on this box, but you can do that here. Display name, Johnny Rocker, and I'd love to hear from you. Please record your message, like you saw on the uh, demo that I just showed you. Now, next we want to go down to additional options. If you want them to leave a name and their email address, have it required before they send you a voicemail, go ahead and leave these two boxes checked. And then once again, save dialog settings once you've done that. Then on the bottom, you can only use a lot of these settings if you upgrade to a paid version of this, uh, of this plugin. And this is a very nice feature to have. Allow visitors to subscribe to my email list. They are set up with AWeber and MailChimp integration right now. Further down, we have your balloon setting. The balloon setting, the first time a visitor comes to your website after so many seconds, it will pop up a balloon if you enable this. And you can put in the message here. I have, hey, Johnny here. I'd really love to hear from you. Send me a voice message and let me know what's on your mind. Thanks, JR. Now, you can put anything you want here that will pertain to your website. And you can pick out the background color of your balloon. And this will only display the first time someone visits your site, and it won't after that for that particular person. Now, if you want to see what your balloon looks like, click Preview, 
And there you have it. This one just has a light gray background. Hey, Johnny here, blah, blah, blah. Thanks, JR. Okay. So then you click on Save Balloon Settings. And that about takes care of all of the main settings that I've showed you on the demo. So now we'll see how we go about putting them on the website. The first setting we can go over right now, you don't have to go anywhere but right here, is the balloon setting and the sidebar button. These are all controlled from your account page right where we are, not on the website. Uh, so that is fine once you have that where you want them. They're good to go. So now if we go back up to the top of the page, we can see that we're now in default. We want to go now to SpeakPipe widget. And it will show you an image of what the recorder will look like. And so what you want to do is simply come down to this box and copy this code. Now we're going to take this code to the website. So if you go back to your own site in your admin, you'll be going down to Appearance. And then I want you to go click on Widgets. Once you're in Widgets, you're going to grab a text widget. If you search down through your widgets, whichever thing you're using, you will see text. And click on text. It will open up the drop down. And you want to go into whatever widget area you want. In my case, I'm in the right sidebar. And you want to click Add Widget. Once you've added the widget, you want to go up to the widget and open it up. And this is where you're going to paste in your code that you just copied from the SpeakPipe site. As you can see, I've already done here. And once you've done that, go to the bottom of the widget and click Save. Then if you go to the front end of your site, wherever you put that widget, you should see it displayed on your website. And there you see it. And also you'll see on the sidebar our button, Voicemail Johnny. Click on that and it opens up on the center of the page. Okay. The final thing we want to do is go to the top where I have my contact and wherever you might have the contact form on your site. If I click on that, you'll see where I have put the same recorder on this page. Now to do this, you'll go once again to your back end. And you're going to go to Pages. And find your contact page. Mine is right here. Edit. And however you have your page here set up, you'll just simply want to put the code in the text area of your editor. So you click the text tab. And then wherever you want that code, that's where you put it. On my page, I've inserted the code here, as you see. When you look at it in the visual mode, then you can see a big box that shows where it's placed. Now, once again, if you've watched my earlier tutorials when we've been setting up pages, we put this one plugin right here. And it's a short code plugin, which gives you options, among many others, to set up columns. And in this case, I clicked on one half, one half. And that's what this coding is here. So it enabled me to split my page up into two columns. So when you go back to view the page, I inserted the form in the first column. And I inserted the code for the recorder in the second column. 
so it displays side by side on my page. And so that about takes care of the three different areas for the SpeakPipe plugin. We'll take a look once again if I go to my front end and look at the home page. We'll review on contact page. We had a recorder inserted here. In my right sidebar at the bottom, I have a player positioned here. And we have the button on the side. So now it's time to see what this recorder can do. So let's go back to the front page, the home page. And we'll try clicking on the tab here. Open up the uh, recorder. Now we're going to click on Start Recording. Now it's going to bring up this little box. It'll say Allow or Deny. This is going to give permission for this application to play on your computer. So we would click on Allow. And it's recording already. This is David with Songwriters Marketplace testing the SpeakPipe recorder on the Musician website demo. This is a test one, two, three, four. When you hit stop, it'll process the audio. Now here's where you can see where you can require the uh, site visitor to put in their name and their email. If you uncheck the box in the settings, these wouldn't appear here. But we did set them, so they'd have to put their name and email. Now before you send the voicemail, you can play it back to see if you like it. If you don't like it, you would just hit reset and record it again. You can record it over and over until you like what you recorded before you send it. So let's go ahead and hit play. And it's recording already. This is David with Songwriters Marketplace testing the SpeakPipe recorder on the Musician website demo. This is a test one, two, three, four. All right, that sounds good to me, so I'll just go up here and click on Proceed. It brings me back to this Send button, and we'll go ahead and send. Oh, see now here it's not letting me send because these fields aren't filled in. So I'll go ahead and put David, and I'll say uh, David at songwritersmarketplace.com, and we'll send it off. OK, that's how this plugin works. Now that email will be received by you, if it's from your website. And you'll get it in the email, and you'll be able to click on it and listen to the voice message. Now what's also cool about this plugin is you can respond with another voicemail that will go back to the sender. And they can open up your attachment and listen to your voicemail back. It's really a cool little plugin that will give your site an added dimension and an added personal way for you to engage with all your fans. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you'll find this uh, SpeakPipe plugin uh, to be of value for you and have some fun with it. Until the next time, this is David with Songwriters Marketplace. Send us a voicemail from our website. We'd love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care.